<laughs> yeah. Well, if we can, I got, I have a couple co-hosts here. Um, my kids, we, I, I organize this podcast. Usually I try to do them during school. Um, but they really wanted this one to be after school because they watched Ryan and Lindsay on uh, the Spartan games. Uh, we, we had a blast watching it as, uh, as, as a family. So, um, Lila, are you ready? They've, they've been oh thinking about this and prepared some questions. All right, Lila, come on up. Okay, here pod. she comes. Let's go Lila first. Hi. Hi. Hey, Lila. Hi. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for coming to talk to us. Yeah. Um, how much do you guys train? Ooh. Mm. I think Ryan trains more than I do. <laughs> I think it depends on kind of the time of the year and stuff, but I think for me it's about two to three hours a day uh, on average. And how about for you? Yeah, for me, for me, like probably about two hours a day on average. I take more rest days than Ryan. Ryan doesn't really need rest days ever. Yeah. He's kind of a super, he's like Superman. I'm really you know? good at sleeping, so I don't need to rest as much. <laughs> <laughs> I usually rest once a week, so maybe that means I train less than he does. <laughs> how much did you train before the Spartan Games? Ooh, a lot. Yeah, we trained a lot before the Spartan Games. We would actually do uh, little mini Spartan Games um, at home. So we would do four days where we would just, we would try to do all the events, but just from our, you know, at our house and on the trails around our house. And so we would do that and we would train like crazy for four days and then we'd be so tired and we would try to recover from that. So then when we came to the race, we were ready for four days of competing nonstop. Yeah. What was your favorite event in the Spartan Games? Maybe the mountain bike for me, but I really had fun <laughs> with the wrestling too. That was <laughs> unexpected fun one. I think for me it was the mountain biking. I yeah. had a really fun day and it was a great trails and just a lot of, it was a wonderful Vermont fall day. What about you, Lila? If you had to pick one event from the Spartan Games that um, you think would have been your favorite? I don't would... know. <laughs> No, it's a tough choice. Probably a running mm -hmm. one. Yeah? Do you run a lot? Um, not a lot. Yeah, but that's awesome. Probably though. more than everything else there. Cool. cool. Do you mountain bike? Um, no, not that much. Okay, you can learn. Dad will teach you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you Maybe want? I go. Thanks, Lila. Hi. Hey. hey. How's it going? Cool hat. Whoa. Does it match, Dad? Uh, <laughs> so, hi. Hey. hey. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, so good. I've yeah. seen you on multiple TV shows, and I've got really interested in you guys. Oh, well, thanks for watching. I'm glad somebody does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one is for Lindsay. Who's okay. your favorite sports hero? My favorite sports hero, oh, there's a mountain biker named Kate Courtney, and I think I she's think really heard. cool. Yeah, she's, um, yeah. she's like, she was the world champion last year. Nice, so, nice. Um, okay. Yeah, I really like her because she's very dedicated to her sport. And okay, she's really right. Smart. What is the best part of being competitive? I think the, <clears throat> I think the best part of being competitive is, like, <clears throat> being able to like kind of see what you're made of because when you're when you're competing and you're like putting out the maximum effort that you can it's kind of like a a glimpse into what truly motivates you and what like really ignites your fire and definitely, i think that, that's really cool to kind of see and be a part of yeah my classmates think i'm too competitive <laughs> do you take after that as a competition so yes yeah okay i don't think that's a bad thing I think okay that's... what emotions do you feel when you think you do well Lindsay? uh what emotions um you know what sometimes like i don't do very well in terms of placement like first uh -huh. second third sometimes i'll finish dead last but as long as i try my hardest and I'll always be happy so yeah, I think definitely trying your hardest 
yeah, then I'll try my hardest. And as long as I've kind of left it all out there on the course, then I'll be really happy yeah. with what I've done. And to me, that's the most important. Some races, I have a really bad race and I haven't tried that hard. And then even if I make the podium, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. So yeah, yeah. Definitely try to get first. <laughs> Always try to get first, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're there to try to do our best, whatever that ends up yeah. being. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Oh, it was fun to talk to you guys. See ya. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I love your co hosts. Good, good job, Wyatt and Lila. Way to go, guys. <laughs> they, they've been uh they they've been excited for that uh, for a while, so <laughs> uh, that was like my favorite thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah, so back back to the Spartan Games. What other thoughts on on that? And that for uh, for the listeners, um, Spartan Games. You can watch it on the uh, Spartan YouTube channel. Um, I think it's four episodes or something, and, and it's good. It's a it's a fun production. I my hats off to the Spartan guys for you know getting things together and organizing a good safe race uh, in in the. Um, you know, in the age of COVID, uh, as they say, and um, they did a great job of fielding some very competitive male and female fields, uh, you know, with the idea of like, you know, let's find the world's best athlete. And, uh, and they got people from a whole range of backgrounds, uh, you know, from endurance stuff like triathlon and ultra running, uh, off-road triathlon. Uh, my friend Josiah was there, um, you know, some other more like strength-based athletes with uh, former NFL athletes and, um, you know, racers. adventure racers, lifters. Yep. Yeah. Chelsea um, was there, uh, for one of the adventure racers, um, you know, who's kind of on the, on the circuit. So, uh, what, what'd you guys think? Did you, did you enjoy it? And it, it looked hard. Everything was pretty extreme. Yeah. Yeah. It was hard. I think that the format was really cool. And I mm -hmm. think that, uh, it was definitely unlike anything that I had done. Um, I guess it's like, it would be similar to a stage race, but like you're competing two or three times a day and in events that are anywhere from a few seconds long to, you know, six hours long. So like yep. there was such a, a wide kind of uh, spectrum of athletic like requirements yeah. uh, in the event. And I thought that that was kind of maybe my favorite aspect of the entire uh, show. And so yep. I think they did a really good job, of, like you said, putting it on, putting it on during the time that they did. And it was hard. It was just, it was, <laughs> it was like, four days of just like beating yourself against the wall yeah. so it was uh, it was pretty fun to train cool. for like I think everybody found a new sport that they really enjoyed like I learned that I really yep. love open water swimming which comes oh good yeah more weather when the everything's not frozen <laughs> then I'll definitely yep. do more of that um, yeah so I think every competitor there learned yep something that they want to do more of yeah, all the events were extreme, you know, extreme endurance, like, you know, five and six hour run and bike events and extreme strength with, with really heavy uh, lifting and explosivity. I mean, I know the, the strength stuff, like a, a lot of that stuff, there's no way I would have been able to do it. And even seeing uh, like Josiah Mido struggle with some of the strength stuff. I mean, I know him and he's, he's like a, you know, he's a skinny triathlete, but he's a really strong guy.